What up, hotheads? I'm Henry, and this is Blaze the Roof. This week, we'll be reviewing a sauce named Torchbearer Ultimate Annihilation. Sounds fun, doesn't it? The company is Torchbearer. It's founded by Vid Lynch. I don't know what Vid is short for. And his associate, Ben. I do not have a last name for this individual. The first sauce they were created was called Super Fancy Sultry Number no. 7. The city they're out of is Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. I don't have too much on them except for the fact that they are the birthplace of one of my favorite bands of all time, Poison. <laughs> for those of you that know me, I hate Poison. Especially Talk Dirty to Me. That intro is the worst fucking thing on the planet. The good thing is that this city now has Torchbearer to redeem Mechanicsburg after the whole Poison fiasco. Let's look at the packaging. So Torchbearer always has the same logo up at the top their labels are always impossible to get into one one frame they're always cartoony they're always really entertaining labels uh others go for like simple and elegant these guys go for straight out cartoony and fun it says uh like a slow freight train to hell it's a got a guy wearing a bolero hat on a train and again it has the slogan of the company accidentally healthy intentionally delicious Let's look at the ingredients. The ingredients include boot jilokia and chocolate habanero peppers, carrots, mandarin oranges, tomatoes, vinegar, garlic, sugar, and other all natural spices. Torchbearer really likes using mandarin. If I'm not mistaken, they have that in their Son of Zombie and in their Zombie Apocalypse sauce. The ingredient I'd like to talk to you about is the chocolate habanero. It is not made of chocolate. <laughs> It is called chocolate habanero because it is dark brown. It's also smaller, smoother, and more spherical than your typical habanero. It is a cultivar, meaning that it was bred specifically from the habanero uh, in this fashion, in a fashion to get to, I guess, the specific color. Chocolate habaneros do have a smokier and earthier flavor than their orange counterparts. They can also be hotter than them as well, reaching about 577,000 SHUs. Habaneros typically are about 400, so it's pretty pretty potent, right? And the whiteies, <laughs> okay, the Brits, uh, couldn't pronounce the Nahuatl word, which I believe was uh, chocolate or something like that, or chocolate. They couldn't pronounce it, so they just call them black habaneros. Before we get any further, let's hear from this week's sponsor. Don't you hate being restricted to the items that are on the menu? Here at Do Your Vest, we allow you to choose what topping goes on your dog. Vest, choose from wieners, bratwurst, kielbasas, Polish sausages, etc. Then you add whatever topping you want. Yes, even mayonnaise. How blasphemous. Show us your culinary creation. Your Frankenstein's monster, if you will. <laughs> We encourage you to do your best. Now for the moment of truth. Ooh, smells like vinegar and hot peppers. I do not know. I don't know how many SHUs are in this. Hold on. Damn it. This is probably a very chunky sauce. I gotta be very careful with this because I have to kind of wedge it open. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna take fucking forever. I know. So this is a very, very viscous. This thing is very viscous. Uh, it's more paste than sauce. We'll go with that much. It is a brownish reddish with a tinge of orange. Like I said it is chunky, so it's chock full of peppers and who knows what else. All right, well, let's see how this goes. Cheers. Got a very slow burn coming in. It's barely building right now. So it is ghost pepper and habanero. Still building in back of the back of the tongue there. Still building slowly. Still getting hotter, so maybe I should shut up for a second. You can taste the orange in there. Some of the garlic and spices. What else was in here? I mean, it's a pretty simple sauce. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's a middleweight. It's got a good slow, steady burn. It's not as hot as say like the garlic reaper, but it is hotter than some of the other sauces. Uh, might be right up there with uh, zombie apocalypse. This, however, is a very tasty sauce. It doesn't have very much else to it, so it's a it's a simple sauce that could probably be used with a lot of things. I mean, anything like pork, chicken. I'd even maybe throw this on like maybe ground beef dishes, especially like if you're doing like a picadillo or something. This would be good in vegetables. If you got anything with citrus in it, due to the orange, I think that would go good with it. But 
Yeah, this is a very uh, versatile sauce. Uh, not too hot. It does have a very slow burn, but I think if you're uh, you're a chili head like myself, it's gonna be it's gonna be very bearable. <laughs> Newbies, beware! It, this would probably be a little hot for you, but still very tasty uh, sauce that really just shows the flavor of the pepper. And like I said, with a tinge of the orange, and I guess the carrot rounds out a little bit of sweetness, but you don't really taste too much of the carrot in there. All right, well, I mean, Torch Bear makes a lot of really great sauces, and yeah, this is no exception. This is a, one of, actually, probably my uh, second favorite sauce from them. First will always be Garlic Reaper. Now, would I include this in my rotation? It's interesting. It is good enough to be in the rotation. It's just not something that I think I would always have. However, I don't know. Maybe if I made this into a buffalo sauce, that'd be pretty interesting. But again, versatile. I think you can put it on almost anything. Breakfast? Yeah, I actually, because again, the orange doesn't really stand out. It's not like a very strong citrusy flavor that I think you could throw this on anything. Put on your your uh, Spanish omelet in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it's a very good sauce. I, I liked it. So uh, hopefully you will too if you try it out. Next week, I'll be reviewing a sauce of Australia named Sabarak Caramiso. Until then, I'm Henry, and remember, spice up your life. Take care.